Welcome back to TMZ Sports. You know what time it is. It is time to run and gun with Renee Montgomery. We got three quick hitters again. I, I love doing this, Renee. And we're going to start with something that yeah, is I very... Like it. I like it, too. We're going to start with something that is very near and dear to my heart as a guy from New Jersey. But the boss's daughter, Bruce Springsteen's daughter, is an Olympian. Uh, Jessica Springsteen has made the U.S. equestrian team, and she is going to be competing when the Olympics kick off next month. And I, this is this is really cool. Obviously, Bruce Springsteen, one of the most you know popular, influential musicians in the world, and now his daughter too, making a name for herself. Uh, and very cool. I don't know what's good and bad in, in equestrian, but uh, she didn't fall off the horse, and she looks. She looks like she's doing a pretty good job to me. So that is pretty awesome. Yeah, congrats to her. It's so interesting to hear all the different things, you know, that are going to happen at the Olympics. Like this is how huge the Olympics are, that there's going to be this outdoor event with the equestrians. We always focus on the basketball. Right. You know, like there's certain like things the we can talk about so much. track and field. Yeah, track and field. You yeah. know, certain things we talk about so much. We don't talk about equestrians. So shouts to the equestrians. They're not getting a lot of love. Yeah. I think this year is the first year for break dancing. Three. X3. So I'm about to start just binging a lot of stuff. And I'm going to check out. Yeah, I'm going to just check it out. I'm going to check it out and see what's going on with the horses, okay? Yeah, me too. And by the way, I, I said I said figure skating, which is certainly not part of the Summer Olympics. That is the Winter Olympics. But So that is awesome. Congratulations to Jessica Springsteen. Moving on now to an NFL player. And I know you're going to like this story a lot, Renee. Uh, P.J. Locke, the Denver Broncos safety, uh, a young guy who grew up idolizing none other than Kobe Bryant and uh, over the weekend treated himself to a really cool looking piece of art, uh, a Kobe Bryant tattoo on his left calf. And um, it's not just basketball players, uh, it's men, women from, from all sports. Uh, they, they idolized Kobe Bryant and uh, you know he gets that on his body uh, forever. And I think it's, it's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. the ultimate sign, but again, it's that it's that Mamba mentality. Yeah. It's something about Kobe that people just recognize that he willed himself to a lot of things. It wasn't that he, obviously we know he's talented. Obviously, you know, he had the height and everything else. Yeah. But what was so impressive about Kobe are the things that we know that like took sheer will. Shooting a free throw when you tore your Achilles. Most people can't even walk when they tell an Achilles much less go back on the court and finish the job. But he felt like in his mind he had a job to do. So I could see any athlete or person relating to Kobe and getting a tattoo because it's just that reminder that, you know, stay mentally tough. Right. Everybody in the NBA is supremely talented, but not everybody. And, and nobody, as a matter of fact, has that mindset like Kobe had. So that's awesome. Now, uh, moving on to our last one here, and I can't wait to get your opinion on this, Renee. Uh, AEW star Max Caster. So this guy is a, is a big up-and-coming wrestling star. And his thing, Renee, that he does is he, he raps and he takes these pop culture stories and he works them into his, to his gig as a wrestler. Now, Max made us a video. Uh, he, he laid down a little track for us. Uh, let's take oh, a look. And, yeah, we're going to hear. Let, we're going to get your take, Renee. But let's hear from Max first. What up? It's the best wrestler alive, a.k.a. Mr. Match of the Night, a.k.a. Platinum Max on TMZ. Gotta listen. Wildin' on the mic, feeling like Scotty Pippen. Check your brain cells, man, and some probably missing. Who cares about Phil when it's crooked politicians? Homie, when you open your mouth, it gets scary. Make me wanna turn my back like Gwen Berry. If any hater wanna holler at me, I make them all bend back like Giannis' knee. Trying to make that money like a D1 athlete. Remember when Jameis had to steal that crab meat? Anyway, the NCAA. Got these kids double paid, but I got another way. I heard John Cena's coming back to the ring. Well, here's a proposition from Max with the bling. Come to Dynamite, we can rap, we can sing. Either way, I'ma leave you on the mat for the ding. The ding. Oh, wow. Oh, the bell. I love it because he works in like all these really topical stories where I'm a fan. Gwen, right? What do you think? I'm a Fan, that was incredible. I loved how he started out in conversation. I yeah. love the showmanship, the 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 charismatic way that yeah. he said his lines. He talked about Jameis Hill and the yes. crab meat. I <laughs> yeah. what? Gwen I, Berry, like, uh, Giannis is turning me. your back. I just like this is just. I did not expect that. I was pleasantly surprised. 
I'm going to follow that guy. I feel like he's he's one of those people where you think about The Rock and you could just see yeah. that this guy is an entertainer. He's yes. not just a, he's an entertainer. I'm going to follow that guy. He's he's on to something. I'm going to leave you on the mat for the ding. The ding. The bell.